All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this month's Dokkan V-Jump has officially been revealed and as it turns out, we're gonna be getting a brand new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, guys. It's about damn time. The last time we had a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in this game was the tech one, you know, in that dual Dokkan fest with Omega Shenron, which came out literally more than three years ago. It came out in August. Of 2017 for the was it 200 million download celebration yeah, i think it was 200 million so over three years ago since we had a super saiyan 4 gogeta how insane is that anyways he's finally coming he's gonna be a dokkan fest unit and uh, we don't know too much about him but we do know that he's gonna have an active skill and this is the ssr art and there is the tur um, i apologize for the terrible quality but this is the best we've got right now i'm guessing that We'll probably be getting a like an HD art or HD version in a couple hours or maybe tomorrow. But for now, this is what we have. It looks terrible, but you can clearly make out that it is a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. We don't know anything about him. We don't know his typing, leader skill, super attack, uh, passive links, all that stuff. There's one other thing, and uh, basically. I can't read this obviously, but it says that we're going to be getting a new story event based off episode 55 of the anime where Bulma tells Vegeta that she can help him achieve Super Saiyan 4. So that's also pretty cool and there's going to be a farmable free to play Vegeta from that event too. So uh, that's pretty much the V-Jump reveal guys. Big shout out to um, Air Dokkan as well as DB Legends Japan for the, the scans and also the information. It's highly appreciated. Guys, I'm so freaking stoked. I, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been asking for a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I think we've all been asking for a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for a long time. I think most of us thought there was going to be like a dual Dokkan fest, you know, between another new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron for like an anniversary, like six year or maybe a download celebration or just like a regular dual Dokkan fest of some kind. But I thought it was going to be, you know, the, the two of them again. But either way, I mean, we're going to get Gogeta by himself. I'm sure we're going to get a new Omega in the future. Um, I'm, I'm stoked. Oh, by the way, that's the SSR art, right? And if we pop over to Google here, this is a fan-made card from, I think, at least a couple years ago. And uh, it's basically the SSR form of this unit. So that's pretty cool. And uh, also... Let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki. So this was, like I said, the last Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the only Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta we have in the game. And uh, obviously, I think it's, I mean, based off what LR Vegito, like the new one, the STR one, um, does, right? I think the new Gogeta is probably just going to be, you know, kind of a easy A version of uh, this Gogeta. So as far as leader skill goes, like I said, we don't know, but... Uh, I'm guessing he's gonna be a dual, you know, category leader. Probably gonna be fusions as one of the one of the leader skills. And then for the other leader skill, I mean, look, I really want a new Shadow Dragons leader, right? We we only have one, like one Dogon Fest legit Shadow Dragons leader, and it's Omega Shenron. And obviously, it's 150% across the board. We need a 170% leader for that category. So I'm hoping that Gogeta is either gonna be uh, Shadow Dragons, like 170%. And then one or 170 to like HP and attack, and then 130 to defense, or whatever the combination may be. Definitely 170 to attack, though. That's what we need. Um, you know what? Okay, so that'd be nice, right? Shadow Dragons, but why not just go a little bit further and make it a GT category? You know, J just like all GT characters. I know it might be, I don't, you know, you know, I was gonna say a little bit OP, but not even, right? Because we have like transformation boost. Right, we have Realm of Gods, like, even if we have a full GT category, it's not going to be as broken as those categories. So, um, yeah, just, just go all the way. Just give us a GT category leader. And, I mean, Shadow Dragons is a tiny category. So, even if you add in all the GT characters now, it's still going to be not that big of a category. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they just straight up go GT category, key plus three, you know, attack and defense plus 170%, HP 130 or, you know, the other way around, whatever, but uh, that'd be amazing, that would make my life. If you guys didn't know, Shadow Dragon is one of my favorite categories in the game. I love to run it, it's just I never get a chance because 
you can never find Omega Shenron friends, man. It's actually really annoying. So, uh, yeah, that's the leader skill prediction as far as super attack goes. Um, it's probably going to be similar. You know what? Based on how broken cards have been recently, I, I think that they might keep this the same, right? But straight up, just remove that turn restriction, right? Instead of for one turn, just forever. Just like infinitely stacking like the tech transforming Gohan. So um, that's going to be my prediction, man, for the super attack. Greatly raises attack and defense, period, and causes immense damage. I mean, that's probably going to be mad broken, but every single card we've been getting recently, right, has been mad broken. So I think there's actually a good chance for something like that. I mean, it could be something else, obviously. Um, I'm just speculating right now. I'm just like talking off the top of my mind, but or off the top of my... Wait, no, that was right. That was the right, right expression. Okay, anyways, I'm too excited. I'm I'm stumbling all over my words. My bad, guys. But uh, yeah, for the passive, uh, I'm not really sure what the passive is going to look like because, I mean, there's so much that they could do. Um, but I think they got to keep this part, okay? No matter what he does as far as, like, you know, his, like, attack and defense, uh, defense buffs or damage reduction or, you know, debuffing the enemy like this. Um, he's got to have the high chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. That's a 70% chance to evade and counter. I think he's the only unit in the game that has that ability. Obviously, we have the Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta that have a 30% chance. But I think Gogeta might be the only unit in the game, correct me if I'm wrong, that has a 70% chance of evading and countering super attacks. And that was super, super clutch. I mean, it's still super clutch, actually, in... Um, any event really right but um i'm hoping they keep this because that's kind of like its thing it's, it's, it's like basically you know gogeta always having to have like uh, super gogeta always having to have um effective against all or super vegeto i guess not all actually wait every super vegeto does have the counter mechanic right yeah super vegeto always having counter mechanic am i missing one it must be there must be a super vegeto in the game that doesn't have that maybe not I don't know. I can't even think right now, man. Like I literally just learned about this um, a couple minutes, well, not a couple minutes, like 30 minutes ago, because I woke up late today, and I got like 50 notifications from Twitter, because like everybody was posting about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I was like, holy crap, it's actually happening. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do like a full prediction of the passive. Obviously, he's going to have some defense here. That's a big thing that was missing from the Super Saiyan 4, the tech Super Saiyan 4. And... Um, you know, Phoenix needs to stop sliding his chair all over the place, man. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, passive's gonna be great, I'm sure, but let's let's hope they keep this part. Uh, links were already pretty good, honestly, so he's probably gonna have the same links, or very similar links. Uh, categories, you know, same thing. Like I said, hope they, they add the GT category, so we can include all GT characters and just, like, you know, have more options, right? Because Shadow Dragons is very, very limited. Um, I know it would basically make the Shadow Dragon Saga category obsolete because it would just be within the GT category, but they can do it, man. They can do it. Let's see what happens. Uh, may maybe they'll just change... Okay, I, I don't think there's a precedent for this. I don't remember them ever doing this, but maybe they'll just change Shadow Dragon Saga into GT. That'd be interesting. Okay, no, maybe I'm going too far. I don't know. Um... But that's it, guys. That That is uh, a little, little I guess, mini prediction for what the new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will do. Oh, he also has an active skill. Did I mention that? I think I did. Um, active skill, I have no idea what it's going to do, but it's either going to be most likely a super attack or some kind of a buff, like, um, you know, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta or uh, LR Blue Boys. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll have to wait for more details. Like I said, a high a high quality scan will most likely become available later in the day or tomorrow as well. I'm not gonna make a new video, but uh, I'll probably post it on Twitter or Instagram. By the way, shameless plug, follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter. For Instagram, it's Tiger Uppercut Media, and for Twitter, it's Eat Like Goku. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about a new Gogeta. Are you excited? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, to be exact. Are you excited? Are you gonna summon? Are you gonna wail out? I definitely am, I don't care how many stones it takes, how much money it costs. We're getting this Gogeta, man, one way or another. Anyways, that's the video. Thank you guys once again. I appreciate your viewership as always. And uh, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you, and you, 
<laughs> and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.